Hello, Gomzy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a minimal rich text editor using Draft.js. I am starting this from a default React application. So if you do not know how to create that, go watch my the first video of my series on learning to code websites using React. It is actually super easy. For anyone that doesn't know what a rich text editor is, it's this is what it is right here. It's just a text box where the user can type and he can use several different tools such as bold, italics, underline, order list or unordered list, and so on. Alrighty, let's get started. The first things first, just Google search DraftJS and go find their official website. Should be the first thing to pop up. Then you want to press get started. After that, just scroll down and you will see the commands that allows you to install DraftJS. So take it, copy it, and use it inside of the project that you are working in. Once that is installed, you can go ahead and open your project with Visual Studio Code or whatever IDE that you like to use. You can close the welcome pages, go into the source folder and open up app.js. Now just delete whatever's in there. We don't need this. Actually, I'll keep this here but I'm going to open app.css and delete all of this. Now let's go to the website and see what it wants us to do. You can just kind of skip all of this. Since we are using React, it already has this, so you don't have to worry about it. If you're using pure JavaScript, then make sure you do this part as well. And this is also necessary, but I will get to this a little bit later on. For now, let's go over to rich styling and you'll see there's an example. The stuff down here, if you wanna get real technical is helpful, but really you just need this example right here. So I'm gonna open up these two in some tabs. So I'll get back to the CSS. You wanna go into draft.js file, and all we really want are the React components and the styling. So starting from right here, rich editor example, copy from there all the way down to right here, just above react-dom.render. Copy that. Now we need to paste it somewhere. So I'm gonna organize it into a folder. Let's call this components. And then inside of that, I'm going to create a new file, Let's call it rich text editor.js. And then let's paste everything in there. So we have all of that, but now we need, there's some things we need to import. Like right here, this isn't imported. So we need to make sure we do that. If, since there's React components, of course you need to import React like so. After that, let's start importing the draft.js stuff. So I believe we need editor. We need editor state, as you just saw down there. Um, there's definitely some, we need get default key binding. Yeah, there it is. Now I believe there's one other thing, rich utils. And this is all coming from GraphJS. Okay, awesome. Now, one other thing for this file for now is go to the bottom. You want to make sure that you export default this rich text editor, which I forgot to change the name of it. So I wanted this to be called rich text editor just like that 
Now let's go down, and there it is. Board it just like so. And then simply go and put this right into app.js. And if it doesn't import automatically like it did for me, make sure that you import it. Now, there's probably some import statements missing or something's wrong, but let's see how that is so far. Oh, we aren't even running our application. So make sure that you start your application. Okay, as you see, there is something here, but it looks pretty terrible. You can see there's like a text box here for you to type stuff into. But this just looks really bad. And when something looks bad, that means that the CSS is missing. So let's go and go to the example file they gave us. We can just copy the CSS straight up from their file. We need to create a rich text.css file. Paste everything into there. Now go into your rich text editor and at the top let's import styles or wait no 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 i don't think we're importing it in that way let's import rich text sorry sorry i'm messing up here let's import dot slash rich text.css and that should help a lot let's go look at it aha now we have pretty functional rich text editor however it's still missing something if you remember correctly in the little tutorial on their website they said that you needed to include a draft dot CSS, is that what it's called? Yeah, they said you need to include a draft.css file. This is inside of node modules. Just import. For me, this is how you get to node modules. It's right here. And then you want to find draft. For that, distribution, and then simply draft.css. And now let's see what that changes. You'll see now it makes the CSS just a little bit better. You can see that it's like an actual placeholder now instead of whatever it was that we had before. So this doesn't look amazing because it's fitting the whole screen. So just to show you that we can get like a small rich text editor, I'm going to just put my own CSS inside of app.css. So I'm going to make it have a width of, I don't know, say 700 pixels, and I'm going to give it a margin of 50 pixels. And now, you see, we have a very minimal rich text editor. Can type stuff, can use ordered list, unordered list, code blocks. If you have any questions, Make sure to leave them in the comments. I hope that this tutorial helped you in some way. If it did, make sure you like and subscribe. Jonesy out.